everyone, this is Ben back with you in the Midwest Model Shop. Welcome to part two of our formal, form, forward funnel section. There it is. Uh, in this part of the build, we're going to launch right into the photo etch for the platform uh, that the SK2 radar sits on top of, and we're going to take a very detailed look at the assembly process of that photo etch by Pontos. Um, obviously, you could just skip along, but if you're really curious about what's involved, the whole thing is all there. Uh, I reference in the final part of this video other videos that I put together, and at the end of this film, I'll try and provide links directly to them and in the description down below. If you're watching this on my new channel, which I don't know if I had to do or not yet, hopefully they're loaded, and then obviously if the things are back to normal the way they are, they'll go, they'll link right to where they're supposed to be. Uh, anyway, that's about it. I think the next thing I want to talk about is the ship's about 95% done and I show it at the very end, all the work that we've done. Uh, what's left basically, I think we'll, the next video after this is gonna be the two aft catapults, the uh, float planes, and the crane that goes in the back. Then I wanna try and take a break from the videos and finish this whole thing up, which involves all of the railing that's left, all of the Orlikin cans that's left, and there's, there's probably like 40 of them, and all of the uh, bofers need to be finished assembled and then the crew I want to paint and then the rigging. Uh, several of you have requested information on the rigging so I will try to show all of that uh, in the last film. We'll, we'll see how that breakdown works out here for you. Anyway that's it. Let's launch right back into where we left off last time. Thanks for watching. All right, uh, we're going to start working on the radar and upper mast area, and I'm just going to do the best I can to show you all of the details. Uh, so the first step is you get this piece, and you drop it, and you can see here that on this side there's some nice detail, and this side that's flat. And then the instructions tell you to take this piece and stick it on here, and I'm pointing out that you want to put it on the side that's flat. That way there's an adequate amount of detail uh, on both sides. I, I believe that this is correct. And one of these sides will be down while the other side is up, probably like that. So I'm gonna glue that. We'll put, we'll put some CA glue on here and glue that together very carefully to make sure the holes still all line up. Uh, the problem with this method in I'm, again, this is to show you guys what's happening here as best as I can. I don't want to glue this down to the paper here. I realized the back drop of green just wasn't really cutting it. And so I switched to something that I thought would be easier to observe. All right, here we go. Of course, I missed it. There we are. Okay, it lined up. And now we have our little piece. And what I do, I hope this is still in focus. Um, like these two joints have come together, I'll, I'll just take a little CA glue and let it run in the seam there. You could squish it if you want, but let that capillary action uh, suck the CA glue in. This just reinforces all of these little parts and makes them a lot more rigid and robust than they otherwise would be, which is going to be very important since this is already incredibly fragile. Uh, so I don't know how well you guys could see this, but there's this side and there's this side. Both of the detail looks really nice. This is a lot more prominent. Um, looking at the instructions, I'm gonna say actually that this side where it's more prominent, we put that extra piece on, is gonna be the bottom. And this more refined finished top will be the top. And that makes sense. If you were walking around on here, you wouldn't wanna fall down. So we're gonna make this be up. All right, next part. Hopefully you can make out right there, there's this little ring. I just slipped it in place because I'm going to go ahead and glue this on right there. The shaft goes like so. And that ring, 
Uh, I'm not going to be able to show you the details, but I'll show you in the instructions. There's a front, and you need to orient that right. Right here, that piece 581, see how it says front? Hopefully you can make out right there. There's kind of an orientation. So I'm going to glue this onto here. doesn't matter which way it points. Then I'll spin the little ring around to match that orientation. All right, take our CA glue. And I just use the toothpick in case you guys haven't figured it out. All right, this is the side we said was going to be down. You know you've done it right when it glues to your fingers. And now I'm checking for plum as as best as I can. Okay. As best as I can tell that's on there right and if it's not, we're just gonna make these next steps work. All right, this is gonna be fun. Uh, so I'll hold this like, so this piece right here has an orientation. Note what I'm doing here, and it gets installed like so. And it goes to the second ring down right here, and then there's a flat spot there that matches the flat spot in the back, and then this, nub that you see right there must go up aligned with that hole because a mast comes down through there and it rests in position right there so i'm just gonna grab some ca glue i just dipped the uh this piece in it on the ends i'm not totally sure about the contact points and i know you're looking directly down at this That's what you're going for, like that. Makes sense? Now we have a whole bunch of other pieces that get stacked in here similarly. This is piece 585. This is piece 588. There's two of them. And that matches pretty close right there. Okay, this is piece 586, I believe. Yes, it took a little figuring out. I know it goes down in this corner on the net. You know, like that. I knew it dropped into this corner. Wasn't sure about if it connected up on top there, but apparently, yes, it does. We'll get the other one in. Alright, so that's in place, and now it's, those pieces definitely need a little more glue. Now, and I gotta take a second to figure this out, it looks like there's a piece that goes from this point back over to like that corner right there. I gotta figure that out. Alright, so 583 and 584, uh, and there's two different sides, so for this side, this would be the starboard side is piece 584 and I hope you can see here there's this little tiny lip and you can bend that out and that little lip goes right here so there's a positive point of contact for it so get it oriented right with your tweezers and a little CA glue yeah I think you can see what I'm doing here pretty close there I want that flat part on the meaty part of the beam right here all right now we got to do that again over here on this side all right 
all of that. To get this. All right, the next order of business is to take this mast and it goes down through that hole right there and lines up with the little pin on the bottom we did earlier. And it wouldn't go through. And I think you could see there, the end of this is a little bit shiny. That's because I sanded the heck out of it. But I still had just the tiniest little alignment issue. So I was forced to take a drill and run it down very carefully through that photo etch to ream it out. And then the piece goes through like this. And it's supposed to sit on the pin on the bottom like that. And then we could start adding things to it. So I'm just going to glue that up right now. What I'm going to do is put some glue on the pin on the bottom. And then I'm going to put some glue around the top, but not in the hole, because I need this thing to drop down. And just like before, checking our orientation we can lean it a little bit pretty good front to back push it forward a little bit like that uh you're pretty much good to go all right now i gotta figure out how i can shoot the rest of this show you guys next steps all right, now we have this little maintenance platform and it drops on here this is bow this is stern there's a v the V goes forward uh, facing the bow. This is, I'm, I'm calling this like a little maintenance platform because I don't know why else you would hang out up here unless you got in really big trouble or something. The part fits really snug. So you kind of got to wiggle it down. Okay. Off camera here. Get the glue out of the way. I had to double check to make sure that that piece is oriented correctly and is flush because now we got to put a ladder on the front there and we can see it matches up uh, the direction that we want right there next next part all right now this little round ring goes right up on top of here and I don't know if you can make it out in the camera there's a skinny part there's a level and then down a 32nd of an inch inch or one millimeter there's another level and that level down, the bottom one is where this goes. And it didn't actually uh, want to drop on there, which is typical. And so I did get a round file and go inside of here and ream this out just a little bit to make the room necessary to get this thing to drop on here and drop down into that level right there where we want it. And I want the X to not go perfectly straight. And I'm going to put a little CA glue on here after the fact okay so we're we've created that now there's a little radar assembly that goes up on top of here uh, that I have to build I'll build that off camera but looks like yes we can put on piece 572 because it attaches to the back of our maintenance stand I'm calling it here and then up to this little round radar dish let's get that ready all right, this is piece 572. I'm just going to attempt to do this. Like that. There we go. You see the orientation. It's a little crooked. See how it's leaning to one side? I want this glue to set up a little bit, and then I'll push it over so it's a little bit straighter. All right, for the next part here, before I put the little radar on top, I'm going to attach this ladder that goes on the front I busted out my 19th hand to go ahead and hold this thing horizontal uh, the problem with this is for some reason there's like no real positive attachment points for this ladder so I'm just gonna use my 19th hand and get a little gravity assist it does touch, like, there's a rung up here, a spot for the rungs to sit on top of the, what I keep calling the maintenance platform. And then it, all it can do is really lean back and touch the mast. It doesn't reach all the way down here. Uh, I checked the instructions a couple times. Whoops, sorry. Uh, I'm going to check again, but anyway, that's, 
That's how you do that. You, you use, use gravity to hold things for you so that uh, you can see the part. All right, moving along. All right, this part's actually a little bit tricky. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and prep the spot up here with some CA glue. Just going to set up pretty quickly and then grab my pre-built little radar dish up here which has to drop on this tiny there's a tiny little hole on the shaft like that and then I try and straighten it out that was the point of putting the CA glue on right away so that by the time this touched because I knew I was going to be fiddling with it for a second that it congeals just enough to hold it. Otherwise, there's enough slack that it kind of falls all over the place. It actually looks pretty good. And let's turn this so you can see that's what we're doing right there. And now, uh, once that glues up, there's one more crazy piece I gotta put on here. This, this point, this tip right there, that is the top of the ship. That is the tippy tippy, tippy top apex of the model. So let's get that last little part ready. All right. We got our little antenna that rests up here. So we'll just get, again, some CA glue in position. This is the antenna. Clearly make out the little hole. Drop it into place. And try and level it out. Just to be extra safe, take a little bit of extra CA glue. Let it congeal right there on top. And you're all set. See, that's what we're going for right there. All right, so let's, that's good. Now, uh, that wasn't so bad. Let's move on to the part that I consider to be really hard. Okay, now we're going to get into the tricky stuff. Uh, we have to put together the SK-2 radar. So. Initially what happens is you start out with these two cross pieces and this big ring down here. These just drop together. Just like that. And use the camera here. Trying to get a perfect X 90 degrees on each side would be helpful. And we're going to let it set up for a second. And it risked two problems down the road. I'm still going to put just a touch of super glue. Uh, where they meet on the top here. I say at risk because we have to insert parts in between here. Okay, so that's wonderful. Now for the interesting part. Yeah, it's supposed to set down on this ring and there are little notches all the way around. I don't, I don't know if you can make those out in the camera there. You're supposed to get it glued in like this. I don't, of course, want to glue it to the paper. That would be a problem. So I think what I'm going to do to keep things in round and working right, there's a notch. I'm going to start with one notch and get that glued in to position as carefully as I can and then do the one opposite. So we'll go there. I see the one straight across. I'm just going to try and line this up. There we go. As best I can is with the one opposite. Give it a second to set up. And then, yeah, this is going to be tricky. <laughs> well, let's try this again. This time we'll start with this one. All right, I'm going to put a little more CA glue right here. Let it set up. I think it's time to bust out the accelerator. All right, so this circle, very fragile, has moved a little bit out of round, especially right there. Not totally sure why. But I see the next spot right here where this needs to go. So we'll put a little glue there again. Of course, it, it glued to the tweezers and not to the piece of brass underneath there. There it goes. There, that locked in. Okay, so I'm going to lift it up. Every time I push down on this side, hopefully you can see it, it lifts up just a little bit. Build up just a little CA, a little drop of accelerator. All right, now that actually dropped in right there. At risk of craziness, I'm going to just put a little glue on either side of that and move it off of the spot it was some accelerator okay all right now opposite side same scenario there i pulled that out and it caught feel like that's pretty close to what we're shooting for it, the ring probably needs to drop up onto that notch right there a little bit um it's gonna be pretty tough to do 
to get this thing going. I, I just, there's a kit provided part for this. It's photo etched also. So if I ruin this Pontos piece example, um, I'll have something I'll be able to work with, but that's starting to look okay. It's, it's a little out of, out of round, but we've got some more PE to put in. So now they tell you to grab these parts. 443, 443, 43, 43, yep. Cut them out and bend them. So let's do that. Okay, so here's one of these pieces. Uh, you just simply bend it to about 30 degrees. There's a notch here and here for the legs to intercept. And then uh, it's supposed to meet right here in the middle. Like that. Actually, exactly like that. Uh, so much so I wish I had glue. All right, so let's, let's try and duplicate that. I'm gonna raise it up here a little bit and Again, this is, I think I would put something underneath this and we, we might, um, if I was doing this so that you couldn't see it, I don't, or so that you can see it, I want to, you'd want to raise it up, but I want everyone to see what I'm doing here. There you go. That worked out really well. So that's what's starting to happen. Um, I'm going to intentionally choose to go to the opposite side now for the next one. All right, I've placed the whole thing up on this little piece of glass. So hopefully you can see what's still going on, but I can get my glue in the spots here. Actually, I need to renew this glue. All right, fresh glue. This one's a little bit more of a stretch. See, it doesn't match. Can you see that? How oh, it's not perfectly dead centered there. This probably has something to do with the fact that the whole thing's a little crooked. Push it back into the center there. There, that looks a lot better. You guys can actually probably see better on the camera than I can because you're looking straight down at it. I'm gonna look at the camera here too to reference what I've got. So not too bad, we're, we're a little bit out of round but we're gonna put these pieces in here next and that's gonna change some things. All right, next piece is folded and ready to go. So again, ideally get the outside parts of the leg to hit the ring first. We've got a little bit of an issue here. This one doesn't wanna to touch, then press it down to lock it in. All right, so it is pushing it out and it looks like it wants to resist, so you're just gonna have to take my word for it here. I'll, I'm gonna grab a little bit extra CA glue, put it on the top there, and then very quickly push this down. Pushing it down in the middle is forcing it the legs out in this direction, and that's gonna make it lock into the ring where it's supposed to be. More glue right here. Okay, that's not too bad. Obviously, it's not a perfect circle, but we're getting close to an acceptable circle. How about that? One more to go. All right, last section. I'm kind of accepting that this might not be perfectly round when we're done, but it's gonna be close enough that I'm not gonna be upset about it. Right. So, not perfectly round, but so far, this is what it looks like. There's the dome it over here. We've got a lot more pieces to put into place, so let's start out with that. So now this ring goes on top of these uh, little arms that go around here, and I would like to think that that's going to help things go round in the round, but it's really not. At this point, I'm realizing that where you've got it is pretty much where it's going to stay. You, you're when you first put this together, and that would be my tip, is to do the best you can to get it as round as you can out the gate. Uh, there's little notches again on this thing to kind of clue you in as to where it should go, but you're going to have quite an experience trying to get those to line up is pretty much all I could tell you about that. So, yeah. 
like getting this to drop into place. I think I could do, I think this is gonna have to be like earlier where I just do like one at a time and work my way around this thing in a circle. So let me, let me do that real quick. All right, that worked out okay. So basically you could see this ring drops on the bottom and then you get this like secondary ring going on here. It's not perfect, but uh, it worked out pretty well making this mostly round. So then you drop it down and then uh, you could see these kind of bright spots right here. There's another little lip uh, that goes on. And this piece is actually great. This is not a round piece. The next piece is hexagonal. Well, however many gonals there are on this. But anyway, uh, it is kind of important that you get things to line up early on as far as your circle goes as best as you can because otherwise you will have trouble later on with this piece because it's supposed to drop on like so not too bad it's off in a couple little spots but it looks good it's adding another surface around here I'm gonna pop this loose again. What I'm seeing is it needs to sit on that shelf just right, otherwise it doesn't touch everywhere it's supposed to on the opposite side. To drop down a little low. It doesn't match up perfectly here. That's because my circle isn't perfect, but I can push it over the little glue and get it into place. All right, that's what we're left with. Looks pretty good. Moving along. All right. There, that one on pretty nicely. Uh, it doesn't line up perfectly, but it's pretty good. Especially since when we're done, you're gonna see it like this, and like this, we could flip it over. Now I gotta figure out a way to kinda hold this still. Uh, we gotta put the rings on the inside, which is kinda the next part right there. I guess I could, ex I could attach it to the stand and then that would give it something robust to hang on to. Let's, let's do that. All right, now that this lays semi-flat, we could go ahead and just uh, get this next inside ring installed. And for this one, I'm not gonna be as anal about trying to get it, I guess, super perfect and touching everywhere. I, I just, it just needs to kind of lay on here nicely, is the idea. I did just get the top and bottom notch to go precisely where they are supposed to, which is encouraging. And again, I'm just touching this edge here with the glue, letting the capillary action uh, kind of slide underneath here. There might be a bump or two present when we finish airbrushing this and we get the paint on it, but I think the effect that we're looking for here is is going to happen. All right, now we have just the little inside one at the very bottom left to put in. I hope you can see how it's starting to turn out there. And again, I'm going to start with the top. Put the notch right there. And that's going to do it. That's how she's going to roll, just like that. All right, now I'm going to take some accelerator on this brush and just touch all these points. Anything that may not be set up yet, I just kind of want to encourage to do so. And this is actually fairly robust at this point. Okay, so this is the angle here from the back. It's, yeah, it looks, it's looking pretty cool. And now we have to build the little, um, transmitter on the inside here. All right, now we're making some real progress. I threw this last little part on the radar, it's done. Here's the one little kit part that you need rolling away from me to put this thing together. Uh, 
it's time to glue the mast into position. So to keep it simple, because it, it, it wants to spin around everywhere, what I'm gonna do is just put a drop of CA glue down here in the base, which yes, is gonna make pulling the glue out later a little bit difficult, but whatever. Uh, let's make sure that it is straight. Got just a second here with this. It looks like it's going up and down correctly the way that I want. And there is a little play for it to lean from one side to the other. We'll make a little adjustment on that later. Get that straight. That looks good. All right, and then uh, we're gonna put some glue right up in here in the bottom. It's leaning just a little bit to the left but I think that's gonna be okay. You can see it in there, it's, it's leaning to the left a little bit, but we set it down, we spin it around. It's pretty good. Okay, now this thing uh, goes up on top here and then the radar gets glued on top of it. So get a little CA going here. And this I'm gonna set up and we'll use the accelerator and I'll do some uh, movie editing magic. I wanted to give this some time to cure. All right, so now uh, this is pretty simple and this is, I'm just gonna pile this CA glue up on here because there's a gap and I want it to hold. This is kind of a crazy way to do this, but uh, I'm gonna just drop this in place. Like that. So it's pointing straight at you. It's got a little bit of a list, but it's pretty straight. I think that's gonna look good. All right, so the next thing to do is there's this crazy arrangement right back here of a little antenna that's gotta go up. And then the ladder that you use to crawl up here, there's another one that goes right there. I wanna take a second here and zoom in on our SK2 radar. Since we spent all that time putting it together, you can see how it turned out. It is a pretty complicated piece. There was a lot of little parts, but they all locked in together pretty nicely. And I'm really satisfied with the results, all considered. So, all right, now let's get onto this part here. It attaches for the little radar. Got to figure that. Got to figure this all out because this is actually tricky. There's a, a V-shaped piece that comes here that protrudes out, and it's got a support underneath that goes to the back, and those are two separate pieces. Okay, so this is it. The the little deal on the back right there that I was talking about. Uh, went ahead and made that happen. I'm just gonna do a quick little uh, spin around here and let you all look at the photo etch because. Now's the time to go and paint this whole thing up. Then I can put the railings on uh, right around there and we can peel up the uh, masking on the decking and we can go ahead and start putting the whole thing together because this is just the top of the conning tower for a little ship. So this is it. It's all the PE for now. I think it turned out pretty nice. It's not perfect. Uh, with a little bit more patience and maybe not having to try and videotape everything, I could have done a better job, but I'm happy with it. I think it, I think it looks good. So it was worth the effort. This is pretty neat. And uh, yeah, so, okay, next step is take all this over to the paint booth and get it sprayed up. So let's do that now. All right, here's the upper part of the conning tower, the forearm, the radar. I'll paint it up and I gave it a little weathering wash. Um, you can see some of the details from the top here. So yeah, it looks nice. Let's see if I can do this a little closer. There's our radar. Both of them. 
and some of the detail down here and our horn and stuff all this stuff going on here okay so that's just this part of the conning tower uh, we need to go ahead and finish up the first section that we started earlier in the video moving along installing some of the railing uh, I see we have this little problem area right here basically this railing section is piece number 76 in the Pontos and it's not long enough I tried making it fit all the way around and that wouldn't work so I end up with this balanced gap right here and what I think I'm gonna do to fix it is grab a piece of railing from the kit or my spare stash and just fashion a piece that goes out around here because there is uh, a piece of equipment that goes here that one would stand at and it would be a shame to fall the 15 feet down onto the ground or the 8 feet to the next deck so yeah somehow it ended up short the railing started there it did wrap all the way around and it stopped right about here so leaving this quarter inch gap not sure what happened there. I double checked the number, I double, double checked the part uh, from the sprue and the instructions and that's what we ended up with so you might run into that. Alright this turned out okay not not the greatest but uh, the shapes generally speaking there and once it's all together no one's really gonna notice anyway which is the most important part. Now I am working on the next deck down it slides into position right here but I just wanted to point out that Again, order of operations, this piece will slide into place just fine and then there's a staircase that needs to be installed to go up to this level and yeah, you don't want the uh, railing in the way. So I went ahead and pre-bent it to get it as close as possible and this will make it possible to put the railings in and then also, um, just like you see here, the guardrail up on top, that one those two need to be pre-bent and put in here too so we'll slide this into place somehow get the stairs installed then put the railing around and protect it and then put this railing on at least that's what I'm gonna attempt to do okay it's time to install our uh, ladder that goes right up in here this spot but um, before I do that I realize that the angle in which the ladder goes up and where it goes ends up being could largely be determined by the position of this uh, little guard right here handrail set so um, that needs to go in first so let's glue that up and I'm just dipping it in CA glue and then carefully coming in here and dropping in position I'm trying to get as far forward towards the bow as possible to give me the most amount of clearance I can possibly get for the stairs that go in which is this piece right here and if you want to know like oh how did you bend this and blah 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 uh, there's a detailed video episode 17 uh, in uh, this series that covers that I'll put a link in the description below and I'll try and include a link at the end but if you go to video 17 it's covered so we're just gonna slide this up towards the top let it hook and then yeah it gets tricky because the CA glue wants to grab and I'm limited here like I said by those the railing for the next level down is kind of stopping where the ladder goes very interesting it's like we're gonna end up right there alright I need to put a little more glue on this on the front There we go. Whoop. Try and center it there. That's gonna work. Uh, let me show you the other angle. All right, hopefully that shows up well enough. You can see the ladder didn't come up onto the top. It ended up uh, butting into the deck right there, which is fine. And then down here, it's touching that railing right there. Uh, and I don't really want to cheat it any further forward so now we'll just repeat that over here on the 
uh, starboard side, and then we got to put the big piece of railing in, the thing that wraps all the way around this. All right, it's the next day. Uh, apologies about the furnace and the potential cricket in the background, but here's, um, I don't know, we'll call it the forward stack kind of thrown together. I want you guys to get a good look at it before I move things around and make it difficult to see the background. We got all of our railing in, we got our uh, escalators in down here, and the little robot down there on the bottom. Danger, danger. Um, yeah, it looks nice. It's weathered, it's ready to go. So now, so that was the first part of the build, and then if you remember, uh, we have the radar part that goes in up on top here, and that goes like this. There's that cricket over there deciding to make noise that I can't find. So it looks good. We need to glue this into position. And yeah, this is nice. I think this is a really cool uh, sub-assembly to the ship right here. So. The next thing we need to do is take all these big parts that I've been monkeying around with and glue them onto the, the superstructure. So let's make that happen. Okay, so there's this whole little area back here that I didn't glue down yet. And so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna use some good old fashioned red tube glue because it's thick and there's lots of it. There's a little bit of a bend in this thing, a bow, so I'm gonna spot some CA glue on the front and the back to hold it all in place. CA glue, CA glue. Just like that and we'll hold it down. Make sure that the issue I was having yesterday was in the stern back here. Uh, it was bent up and not touching anything. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and get this guy installed. I'm gonna use some Tamiya Extra Thin on these parts, and then we'll drop a little bit of the hardcore gloppy stuff in here. And there's always room to go back in and add some back. All right, now you see we have a little bit of a gap right here. Uh, I might go ahead and push this down later, put a little gap filling super glue in there. Check the other side, same thing. Good fit everywhere else though, so I'm really happy about that. Scoot this back a little bit. You can see the whole thing starting to come together here pretty nicely. Looks good. All right, back here goes the aft funnel uh, that you guys have seen in a different video. And I wasn't going to install it today because I was worried about accessing the area around these anti-aircraft guns and being able to get in there. But I realized once it's in position that there's still plenty of room to get my fingers in here and put all these little details in. So the more that I can lock down uh, the better. I don't have to worry about this thing flying off. Although I do got to worry about accidentally banging into the radar up here because it's all so tiny and black. I got to watch out when I'm reaching over, but that's all right. So that's good to go. Now we got our piece up here. Drops into place like so. Just like that, it's locked in right there in that spot goes a Mark 34 gun director. And I know I didn't show how to make this in this video, but if you go to video 13, I'll provide a link in the description and at, hopefully at the end of the video uh, you could go see a detailed build on these. And there's two, one on each side, total of four of these on the whole ship. Drop in just like that. 
Going to need a little touch up paint here and some weathering, but this is one of the search lights. I just threw this thing together and got a coat of paint on it. There we go. It needs a little bit more uh, work. And there's one on the other side too. This one I'll be clever and I'll use a set of tweezers. There, that looks good. Okay, I suppose now you wanna see the whole thing. All right, before we show the whole thing off, some of you might remember at the very beginning of the video, there's a gun tub that goes here on both sides. This is the piece. I have not finished this yet. Uh, it just slides in like that. That's all there is to it. There's two on each side. I'm gonna just whip that up on another um, part of the build and throw it together with the rest of the guns. So this is kind of what we're looking at so far here. The ship's almost done. I'm gonna go ahead and put this other one on the other side. I'll drag out all the five inch guns and the uh, 16 inch guns and let's just take a look at the whole thing. All right, despite the cricket and the furnace, we're gonna do a slow walk around here. And as you can see, it is very cool. Uh, a tremendous amount of work left to be done. Mostly small, tiny, tiny little details that are really, really obnoxious. Uh, I'll probably end up doing the next video on just the uh, catapults in the back and the ships, or the, the airplanes, the float planes that go back there. That's going to be a pretty detailed section. And then, after that, uh, I gotta finish building all my anti-aircraft tubs. I gotta finish building all the Orlick and cannons. Up in here, we've got um, more stairs right back up in there that gotta be installed. There's some railing that goes in here. Um, a whole slew of anti-aircraft guns here. The boats they have to go in. I might make an episode out of that and the cannons or and the uh, uh, sorry catapults at the same time. That might be a good idea. Uh, all the railing along the back end of the ship, this whole entire area back here. But yeah, uh, not gonna lie, she looks really, really cool. I mean, it's not even finished yet. It's basically done at this point in terms of everything that there is to see. But that's just really impressive. All right, I'll put some links in the end here and down in the description below. Thank you all very much for watching. I really appreciate it, and yeah, we'll see you next time.